Hello, welcome to another installment of the PSD to CSS online video tutorial series. Today we're going to look at uh, a piece of art we're going to make uh, or finish with the GIMP instead of Photoshop. I'm going to show you a little bit about how that works and I'm also going to show off a, uh, a new text feature that I just added yesterday. So uh, here we go. First thing we'll do is uh, open up our uh, our piece of art that we're working on here in the GIMP. The GIMP is uh, uh, an, uh, an art program that you can use to make PSD photos or for PSD files. Um, it's uh, free. You can get it from uh, the GIMP.org, um, and it, uh, it's really great. It does a lot of stuff, almost as much as Photoshop. Not quite as easy to use, uh, but at free, it's a uh, uh, quite a bit less expensive. So uh, here we see a web page that I've already started and it's got a number of layers there and and uh, here's my art and uh, what I'm going to show right now is how we put um, a new uh, text area uh, into a web page that uh, PSD to CSS online is going to recognize as a text area and not not put graphics but uh, but leave a space there for us to put uh, dynamic HTML text um, in CSS with uh, all the boundaries and uh, the, you know the absolute positioning and all of that so uh, what we do is we just make a box basically for where we want the text to show up we can make it any color we want we'll just pick something that's easy to see we'll make it red and uh, oh for we need a it needs its own layer of course so we've got a new layer there let's put it uh, kinda right in the middle of all that I will just uh, fill it in so there we go that's where the text is gonna go now here's the trick for the layer that we that is going to be our text area there we have to change the name and the name has to have underscore text in it underscore t e x t that's how psd to css online is going to know that that's the section so i'm going to name this my underscore text my text there you go that's the big trick so uh... that's the big trick to uh... psd to css recognizing that as text so uh... now the other thing that we need to do uh, to prepare for uh, for P PSD to uh, CSS from the GIMP, well, from Photoshop too. As we get rid of this background layer, we don't need that because that'll just happen on the web page. I mean, the browser will have a white background. Um, but the the weird thing you got to do for the GIMP that's unfortunate, but you got to do it is for every one of these layers, you have to highlight each layer and go over to the layer menu and choose Auto Crop Layer, and then you got to go to the next one and you got to go to layer and choose Auto Crop Layer. And you gotta go to the next one. And you have to do this for each one. Photoshop does it automatically, so that's kind of cool. But uh, for the GIMP, you gotta do it manually. It's an optimization step, and it's uh, important. So uh, there, we did that, and uh, that's our website. So we will file, save as. It's already called demo.psd. It's on my desktop there. We'll save it. Yes, we'll replace it because we added some stuff. Cool. Take that down. Now we'll do the obvious thing here at the PSD to CSS online. We we'll go to the front page. You don't even have to log in. And we just go find our PSD file on our hard drive here. This is where I put it on my desktop. And you click the upload button. And then you wait a little while. Uh, usually it only takes 10 or 15 seconds. Depends on how busy the server is and stuff. But this page will eventually change. It will eventually change to that. It's got some details about what it found, and most importantly, this view and download your converted CSS web page link. You just click on that, and sure enough, that is a CSS compliant, CSS layered web page made out of our PSD file. And that great big red chunk of text is, or the great big red uh, box is gone, and instead it's this text with a message from PSD to us. Hi, this is the spot that you gave that label my text, which is what we called it. Replace this with whatever text or HTML you want. Don't forget to edit the font and color options in the CSS class definition for this layer too. Layer 4, it even tells us which layer. So that's cool. So the the other thing you got to do to use PSD to CSS online is save this, right? We're going to save it somewhere to our hard drive. 
So that's file, save page as. Works about the same out of Internet Explorer. I'm going to save it in this demo file folder that's sitting right there. Just hit save. And uh, sure enough, there it is. It made the index file and uh, all the, uh, or the index and the, all the files. If we want to see it here, right from our website, we don't, I mean, right from our hard drive, we don't have to use uh, the web anymore. We can uh, look at it. And sure enough, there it is. Looks the same. But here's where it starts to get a little more. This is where you have to be a little more advanced. This is where uh, you get to use a little bit of uh, web design work. We're going to edit this file. You can edit it with whatever you want, notepad, whatever works. I like Vim. And uh, as you may recall, our little note from PSD to CSS told us that it was uh, layer 4 is, uh, is the one that we need to edit here if we want to. So I go down here and find div class layer 4. See that? And here of course is the text that they even told us about. So we can get rid of that and put whatever we want in here. That includes text or any kind of HTML, image tags, whatever. You can put whatever you want in there and it'll stay inside that layer 4 area. It also told us that we could uh, change the color of the font and whatnot. So up here is the layer 4 CSS descriptor. And uh, I even wrote a little uh, PSD to CSS, even wrote you a little comment. Uh, here are some suggestions for the text area settings. We've got the overflow is set to auto, we've got a font defined. I'm going to change the color to black. And I'm going to make my font size large. So there, I changed the text and I changed its color and I changed its size. I just hit reload and sure enough, it's exactly what's there. Now the neat thing, one, one more neat thing quick before we go, is this overflow auto business. You don't have to look that up, you don't have to know what it means or anything, it's already automatically there. But if you happen to put a whole lot of text in here, that tag gives you an automatic scroll bar. So look at that, it doesn't it stays right exactly inside that area that that big red uh, square was when we were in GIMP earlier. So it really did lay out the web page including overflowed text exactly like we had it in the GIMP. And uh, as far as PSD to CSS online was concerned, it was one button click. So uh, there you go. Have fun. Thanks.